Okay. This may help you if you find yourself needing to set a boundary. And if you're anything like me, it might be difficult for you. Uh, you might feel as though you don't want to hurt anybody else, hurt their feelings or anything like that. So I'm going to share what happened yesterday and something I figured out for myself that helped me through it. So yesterday I had to set three boundaries, relational boundaries with three different people. And that's a lot for one day. It kind of came as a surprise, but it also was quite a blessing because it moved me through a very cool process. And um, the first one, this guy was sending me like memes and stuff. And normally that's cool, but he sent me something kind of messed up and I had to ask him to stop. And I definitely felt like I disturbed the equilibrium of the relationship, but I'm glad I did because I was honoring myself and I knew that I was not happy with the aspect of the relationship that was being crossed in my case, like that, that boundary that I hadn't spoken into, I spoke into it. So I was true to myself and it felt really good. And what I tell myself is that it's okay to speak into any boundary with anyone, as long as I'm not being judgmental of them. And that ties back into not wanting to hurt them. Uh, I mean, if someone wants to hurt themselves because something's changed within the relationship, there's nothing I can do to stop that. But the only thing I really can do is honor myself. If I'm trying to maintain the status quo for the sake of their feelings, it's not good for anyone because I'm dishonoring myself. I'm not being true to my real feelings and I'm acting, you know, from a place of fear and fear creates more of itself. So what if I let one transgression slide, it might lead to another and another and another, and who knows how great it's going to go if I'm just following this person's comfort. And I lived my life that way for a long time, just accommodating people for the sake of getting along and things being uh, chill and not making any kind of waves, but that's no way to live because it's not being true to myself. And it ends up that I become quite afraid of things that are honestly trivial and easy to speak into. And yeah, so if someone gets upset from setting a boundary, the only thing I can really do to mitigate any of that is making it about the behavior, the action, and not about them specifically. And just doing so without any judgment and having the intention and the words that communicate that to them. And I found that very helpful. The other thing I wanted to speak into is where I'm at now with it. And um, yeah, I'm just really happy that I spoke into those boundaries. Uh, the first one I mentioned was with a friend, another was with an acquaintance, and then another one was with a family member. And they were all different. They all had different outcomes. And I wasn't attached to the outcome, which was key to me being able to speak authentically. I didn't know how things were going to go. All I knew was what my truth was in the situation. And I'm really grateful because it doesn't really matter how things turned out, even though they turned out okay in every case, um, or some of them have yet to be resolved. But the, the point is I spoke into my truth, set the boundary and set it lovingly without hurting the, without attacking the other person, just saying like, Hey, what's going on here? and and pointing out the action that i didn't like and uh yeah i can't control how it's received but i can control how i show up for myself and i know that i am my first and best friend and i think that the same is true for all of us so i invite you to use this if it resonates for you in your own life thank you